Hello, welcome back to spiderworking.com's video blog and this week I'm going to be showing you how to set up a proper business page on Facebook. Now there's a huge difference between a business page and a profile page and it's actually against Facebook's terms of service to use a profile page for a business. But it can be quite confusing when you're first setting it up and I think a lot of people accidentally end up with the wrong sort of page. So today I'm going to show you how you go about setting up a proper business page and I've included some links below this video um, about the benefits of a business page over a profile as well and how you can actually migrate if you've accidentally set up a, a profile page how you can migrate that into a business page as well. Before you set up a business page we recommend that you set up a profile page for yourself. Now if you're already on Facebook you don't need to do this you can use your existing profile and if you're not already on Facebook you'll need to go to www.facebook.com and join up. There's no need to set up a separate profile for your business as nobody, unless you want them to, will know that your business page and your profile page are connected. So next you need to go to this page and follow the link below and you need to choose what sort of business you are. And as you can see, each sort of business asks for specific information. So just for speed today, we're going to go for brand or product. So you choose which category you fall into, you name your page, you comply with Facebook's terms and conditions and then click get started and it's simple as that there's your business page and you'll see Facebook has left you some hints and tips on how to get started with your Facebook page there so next whenever you log into Facebook you'll be logging into your personal profile page so how do you find your business page well, the simplest and easiest way to find it is to use the search box at the top here and just type in the name of your page and click on it there and it brings you straight in. There you go. The next thing I'd recommend you do is add a second admin to the page. This means if you're ever away from the computer, you're still able to give someone a call that will be able to look after the page for you. It also means that if something happens and you get knocked off as an admin, there'll always be someone else again to look after the page. Now, don't be fooled. Just because on the right hand side there, you can see who the admins of the page are. Unless you change your page settings, no one outside of the page managers will be able to see who looks after the page. So to change the admins, click edit page on the top right hand side, click manage admins on the left hand menu and just in this box here you'd either start typing the name of the person if they're a friend of yours or you can add an email address and then click save changes. And that's it, congratulations you've set up your business page. Next week in part two I'm going to be showing you how you can change your profile picture and the differences between adding a status update, a video, a photograph and a link to your Facebook page. And we'll see you again next week. In the meantime, if you have any questions or you get stuck, do leave a comment below. Bye.